Meteorologist Thomas Geboy with your first alert storm team forecast. Good morning, Gulf Coast. It is December 1st, which means it is the first day of meteorological winter. We still have a little while before we get to astronomical winter, but meteorological winter, it's starting off and it definitely feels like winter. As you head out the door, make sure you bundle up. Here's the view from News 5 Studios in Mid Sound Mobile looking towards Airport Boulevard, 965. It's a quiet start to the morning, but that doesn't tell the whole story because it's freezing outside this morning. It's 28 degrees here at News 5 in Midtown Mobile. The dew point temperature at 26, and not only is it freezing, but I've also seen quite a bit of frost this morning just on those just on cars just parked this morning. So that's going to be something you're going to want to keep in mind at the Destin Yacht Club. It is just a beautiful view. It is a crystal clear sky, the nearly full moon just above the picture that you see here on your screen. But you can see the stars off in the distance. It's 35 degrees at the Destin Yacht Club. Dew point temperature at 23. Not quite freezing in Destin, but we're seeing quite a bit of freezing temperatures all the way down to this beach in some spots this morning. And we do have this freeze warning that goes until 8 o'clock this morning, which, which means we're likely going to be at or below freezing until about 8, 9 o'clock this morning. Temperatures across the region. Freezing 28 degrees in Mobile, 31 degrees in Pensacola, 29 degrees in Crestview. We have middle to upper 20s along the Highway 84 corridor and even in Jay where it's 27, 27 degrees in Bruton, 27 degrees in Grove Hill, 27 degrees in Leakesville. It's just downright cold this morning. Thankfully, the winds are not as strong compared to what we saw yesterday, but when you have temperatures in the 20s and even have a puff of a northerly breeze, that does create a wind chill factor, and that's exactly what we have in a few spots this morning where it feels like it's 24 degrees in Crestview, feels like it's 24 degrees in Loosedale, and it feels like it's 22 degrees in Grove Hill. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the hat or beanie on this morning and make sure you have the gloves on as well. In some spots, you might want that extra pair of socks as well. On the bigger picture of things, high pressure continues to build in from the west. Our winds are mainly out of the north, but you're still seeing some snow flurries possibly in northern Georgia and possibly into parts of the Carolinas as well. For today, you're not going to have to worry about any rain. Just make sure you're bundled up early this morning and make sure you have the sunglasses this afternoon. A 0% chance you're going to need your Green Phillips umbrella, but with it freezing this morning and being December 1st, why not get into the Christmas Christmas spirit, and that's exactly what Bull is doing. He's got the Christmas tree behind him, and he's got his Grinch PJs on. That's absolutely precious. We're going to start off on the freezing side, brisk this morning, but I'm sure any dog will like to go for a walk today, have an extra pep in their step, and Derek and Paige will be taking Bull for a walk later on. By this afternoon, we'll see those temperatures climbing to the lower and middle 50s, so it should be a lovely fall afternoon. But some spots might want that sweater all day as temperatures in our northeastern communities likely going to be in the lower 50s. Maybe a few spots stays in the upper 40s, but I think most of us will at least get into the lower 50s. 53 degrees in Mobile. And most likely it'll be a little bit closer to 55 degrees as you travel down closer to the water. But tonight with those light winds, clear skies, a recipe for efficient cooling. Once again, we'll head to the freezing mark for most spots along and north of the I-10 corridor. We could see upper 20s once again along the Highway 84 corridor. For those of you at the coastline, less likely that you're going to see freezing temperatures, but you could see some frost by tomorrow morning. So these cold conditions that we have, they're going to be staying in place for today and mainly for tomorrow. But as we move into your Wednesday, the high pressure that keeps us nice and cold and quiet now. We'll continue to move well to the east and then we'll watch our next system that's going to be arriving Thursday into Friday and that's going to bring the chance for a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but as quickly as that system moves in and moves away and then we're cooling right back down for your Friday into the upcoming weekend. So starting on the seven day forecast, we get the freezing start this morning, lower to middle 50s this afternoon before another freezing night tonight, but we will see our temperatures moderating to the middle 60s by your Thursday afternoon. It does come with a slight chance for a few showers then by this weekend back to more Morning lows in the 30s with daytime highs back in the 50s.